In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some geometry node generators and some procedural generators and libraries that might help you a bit with your projects. From grass, tree generators, to stones, bricks, to creating intricate folds, eyes, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with an asset library called Grass Paint from a popular developer. But you might ask, why is this different from all the other grass tools and add-ons out there? Well, because it allows you to create stylized grass in a short period of time. As you might expect, it comes with nice features, like paint mode, which allows you to paint the stylized grass. In addition, it has a wind animation effect, which when I look at it, it kind of feels soothing for some reason. In addition, grass paint comes with an attract mode, which from my understanding and based on the distance parameter, you can create grass around certain objects. And this tool also got some interesting stuff if you want to check them out. A quick disclaimer from the dev, grass paint supports Blender 3.4 to 4.3 when it comes to EV, although it can also work with cycles. But the developer believes cycles cannot fully showcase grass paint's complete effects so it is only recommended to use EV. Now, if you are trying to get folds, especially in clothes, and you want them to look realistic, you probably need to take a look at the folds modifier. It is useful because it allows you to create those nice folds and you can do this in real time. In addition, you can do it without simulating the folds and the clothes themselves. The secret behind this tool is that in simple terms, it uses geometry node setups based on tension maps and textures. And this is an interesting approach to this problem. The good thing, you can create these maps by baking them from a high poly model, which is gonna help you save time and effort. From the same developer, we have a new tool called iCorrector. You know, creating animations is one of the many things people use Blender for. But there are problems a lot of people suffer from especially the clipping problem. Well, this tool called iCorrector will get rid of the clipping problem, especially for the eyes. Or at least, this is what it claims to do. The iCorrector is a modifier that helps to fix various issues within the eyes, especially when animating blinking and other problems that may occur when animating the eyes. Problems like eyelids intersecting with the eyes when moving the head, and eyelids overlapping when closing. I also like the effect of eye movements when the eyelids are closed, and the eye corrector seems to do a good job when fixing the eye animations. This one seems like a good tool, so you have to see it for yourself and try it. The next tool is kind of different, but interesting nonetheless, and it is called the 3DT brush, which is a geometry node setup that allows you to generate brushes, and in simple terms, this is what it does. But the main focus or what makes the geometry nodes modifier interesting is the customization options which it provides. From the different leaf densities in the viewport and the render to the different leaf options. Although I wouldn't mind getting a bigger selection of leaf types than the provided three. And the trunk settings are also a welcome change. In my opinion, the ability to model any shape you like and then turn it into a brush is what really sets it aside from other foliage generators. And I believe that a lot of people will like this geometry node modifier because who wouldn't want some easy foliage, especially if you want to make a giant hedge maze. Turning away to something a bit different, the procedural masonry generator is another geometry node modifier that turns meshes into brick structures that can be used to make old houses, wells, old ruins, and so on. The generator has a bunch of tools and options to customize the generated structures from adjustable sizes, to give it the randomized appearance and abandoned look to a certain extent. You can also play around with the dimensions in addition to spacing of the bricks and also change the materials. But it would have been better to be able to use the modifier on all kinds of shapes, and it also has other limitations, as it does not work on meshes with sharp or angular edges. But this can be fixed by adding the subdivision surface or bevel modifiers. Aside from that, it looks like this one works smoothly and can save you some time and effort. 
Now let's talk about the stylized oak tree generator and this tool is a good fit for creating detailed oak trees and you can do that entirely using Blender's geometry nodes. What I like about the tool is how customizable it is because you can tweak everything from leaf placement and density to the curvature of the branches and the size of the trunk. It can be a handy way to create stylized trees that can suit a variety of artistic directions, like for example, whimsical animations or painterly landscapes, depending on what you need. The procedural nature of the setup, I think, makes it fun to experiment with different shapes and styles, and it is particularly well suited if you ever want to lean into exaggerated or non-realistic designs. However, the range of options might feel a bit overwhelming, especially at first, but I do think it might be worth taking the time to explore and understand some of its parameters. Now, if you're looking to add trees to your scene, I mean different kinds of trees, the Tree Geometry Node setup offers an efficient way to do so. This system generates trees with customizable options for canopy size, trunk shape, and foliage density, allowing for a variety of styles. It includes a seed parameter to create different variations of the same tree type, which is great for keeping your environment diverse. The wind animation feature adds a sense of movement, and by giving the branches and leaves a sense of motion. You can also tweak the A slider to shift between seasons, like lush summer greenery or bare winter branches. Moreover, the procedural prank and leaf textures keep everything consistent without needing image files. And finding the right look might take some experimentation from your side, but the setup gives you enough control to tweak and adjust without becoming too complicated or frustrating, at least from what I can see. Moving on to something a little bit similar, especially with nature assets, we have the Stone Maker Geometry Node setup, which is designed to create stones that look natural, as you can see with options to adjust surface resolution, roughness, cracks, and shapes. It can be useful for various projects, like building detailed environments or working with game assets. It offers both simple and advanced modes. The simple mode is great for quickly populating scenes with stones, while the advanced mode lets you dig into some finer details, like customizing surface irregularities or optimizing geometry for performance. You could also bake high detail stones into low poly meshes, especially if you want to make game ready assets, which I find particularly helpful for keeping projects efficient. And I found the procedural materials provided help as a starting point, meaning you might need to tweak it a little bit, but generally speaking, it can save you some time. And there you have it guys. If you found these interesting or useful, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.